Now, Shiki and the others have actually met Xiao Ming, who's actually revealed to be a time oracle, and she knows everything that she knows, and she is also a famous fortune teller, which she not only read how many tell fortunes, she can tell time as well. And Homura actually asks her where her master is, which she already knew, and she already knew everyone's names, and which they actually knew, they actually knew that she knew when and why they would actually come to her, because she actually is know everything of the universe in which time haven't stopped here and which we actually knew that the stars are still moving which it actually is relevant it is stopped but time outside of the outside the planet doesn't move which the time they actually spend in there doesn't interfere with the outside world, in which case, there actually means that how many years they will stay there, which they actually pick up the right, I mean, pick up right where they left off if they leave, which they actually meant they were actually in somewhere where time actually stopped, which Shiggy actually meant. That would be awesome. But Homura actually asked Shao Mean where her teacher where is her teacher Valkyrie is, which she actually knew where she actually is, in which she cannot actually tell them the information for free. There is a price for telling us that in which she doesn't actually want any money. The value, I mean, the price for the information that she'll provide is something is that she'll want from them, in which she'll tell them about Valkyrie if they actually have level 10, which they actually fell to a ocean like floor. In which they actually led it on to a coliseum, which is actually called the the Milden, the Milden Battle Coliseum, which shall mean actually led them to the coliseum, where they actually going to fight if they, if she would put her limits to the test, in which her True personality is actually when she actually have a thing for battles, which we can actually see her actually drooling on her mouth, blushing and have heart-shaped pupils on her eyes, which she actually say is too tasty not to know which is me which one will be victorious. In which she actually gets a little crazy when it comes to battles. And we actually knew what any battle fan will actually do. In which we actually see that Xiao Ming told them that if they win, they will tell them the information. But only one of them will become the warrior. It was Shiggy volunteers to do it, in which we seen Shiggy get ready to battle someone for the information regards to the location of Valkyrie, in which we actually seen Shiggy get ready to battle someone that Shao Mean actually brought out, which. She brought out the steel armored strongest warrior from the Sog planet, Metal Boogie, which we seen a warrior made of metal, 
in which Chiki actually begins the fight, which we seen. I mean, Xiao Ming began the fight, which Chiki have easily defeated Metal Boogie and with a technical knockout, and which he actually won. And Xiao Ming gets excited and actually say that's the end of round one, at which we're actually going to see more rounds that are actually going to happen very soon. So it looks like Shiki and the others are going to have to fight their way to get the information about Valkyrie from Xiao Ming. So I'm guessing that we're actually going to see the battle actually happen on the next chapter next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment on what you think about the manga chapter. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and like my Facebook page. Until then, this is Amy Guy joining here saying sign out. Leaders!